Christmas in our hearts sounded more like it should be a duet. So I thought of Lea Salonga, who incidentally is my goddaughter at her wedding. But this was before she got married. So I called up Lea Salonga and I sent her a cassette. Have you guys heard of cassette? <laughs> I sent her a cassette of the song Christmas in Our Hearts and she liked it. However, her recording company would not allow her to record for a competing label. So who's next? I thought of Monique Wilson, who was her understudy in Miss Saigon. And she liked the song and she said, okay, let's, let's record that next week. That weekend, she went to Tagaytay. Sunday night, she called me and said, Tito Joe, I lost my voice. Holy cow, who do we get now? Then I remembered my daughter. My daughter, who was a student at the Ateneo, had sung in several productions. She was a singer in Brent, and then even at Ateneo, she came out in Pippin. So I went to her room, and I said, Liz, what are you doing? I'm studying for my exam tomorrow. Can you learn this song? <laughs> what is that? Um, it's a Christmas song that I wrote. Okay, when do you need it? <clears throat> tomorrow. <laughs> Fortunately, the song is simple enough for her to learn it overnight. So we went into the recording studio and the rest is history. And when we presented the songs to the media, lo and behold, they didn't think that Christmas in our hearts is a Christian song. They picked Christmas in our hearts and that became the second Diamond Record awardee in the Philippine history. So I think now, Christmas in Our Hearts has three Diamond Record Awards compared to Constant Change, which has only two. Now,